Welcome back to the channel, you know. <laughs> we have a Turbo S sitting in the garage, and uh, this morning, I think I'm gonna have a buddy come over. We're gonna pull this cage off. I've got it all unbolted, and I've got the straps hanging from, you know, the sketchy ceiling of the garage. So, we have a Sandworks cage off of my last razor, I believe. A couple videos ago, there was a video of me yarding all the parts off of it and getting it ready to trade in. So, we're gonna go ahead and set this Sandworks cage back on there, and we're gonna see what we have to do to make it fit, because right now we have this, I put some tape here, you know, maybe hopefully to keep that cage from rubbing, but this dash sits up way higher like the ones on the 16 pretty much the previous body style or previous front end so we have to probably we're gonna have to just take a notch out the sandrix cage so we're gonna go ahead and try and get this cage off and my buddy jake should be coming over to help throw the other one on and see what we got to do to notch it out So we got this set on there and we've got this space like three quarters of an inch up from the dash and we're hoping that's enough because this is about how much farther we got to go. Thanks dad. But you can see on the back here we got to, how much we got to trim out but again this isn't structural. This is literally just holding the windshield on, keeping it from moving around so. It shouldn't hurt anything hacking that out, but well, yeah, we got got my buddy Jake over oh, yeah. here helping out. So, so we went ahead and just pretty much traced a little bit higher than the old line, just to give ourselves a little bit more leeway on that dash. But we've, we've got a grinder, and we're gonna cut it out. So, hope for the best. Hope it's you know we do. A, Decent job with straight lines and everything. <laughs> Dude, I bet you're not that far off with that. You don't think? Uh -uh. First test fit, but look at, look at that. Just look at it. I don't know if you can get much closer than that. What do you think, Jake? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm glad we cut more out of it though. Because, uh, 
My three quarters of an inch cutting out would not have been near enough. <laughs> it just looks so sick. Oh, yes. Look at that. So, I got a little western over here, but it's close enough for me, I think. I think that looks good. Look at that. Look at that, how tight we got that on this back side. So stoked with that, that looks great. I'm really happy to actually have a legit cage on this thing rather than a stock cage. Really happy to be able to keep my Sandworks cage because uh, I got a little bit of sentimental value to it, I guess, somehow. I don't know. But I'm really happy to have it on the new Razor. So maybe I'll do a walk around before this thing gets too crazy. Show you guys what I like and don't like about it. But uh, it all lines up pretty close. I've got, you know, I got to spread this guy a little bit. But let's go ahead and throw some bolts in it. And then we'll have a Sandworks cage on my new Turbo S. So make sure you guys like this video, comment, subscribe, you know, whatever you want to do. Hopefully all of them. So I just, I had to roll it out. It was, you know, just get a little sunshine on it. I absolutely love the way this thing's looking because it is fucking sick. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, ooh, ee, ooh, ooh, look at that. Look at that. It's not bolted in at all though. We got, we got a little bit of stretching around to do to get it to line up. It's pretty close actually but yeah I absolutely love the way this thing looks like from the front that's sick love it let me know what you guys think leave a comment down below do you like the cage on the razor because I sure do I sure do